Hello, Paul here, and I'm excited to show you Adobe Firefly uh, Beta. It basically allows you to generate images based on AI using a prompt, as well as a number of things. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to use it. So here I am on firefly.adobe.com. There's a number of things you can do, but what I wanna do is do a text to image. This is in beta. But what you do is you type in a phrase, butterfly with wings made of colorful flowers and click generate, and look at that. Firefly generates images or hallucinates images based on the prompt. And what you have to do with other generative AI tools is know all these hidden little keywords, these certain prompts, and I could add that, I can add in highly detailed, but I think the magic is right over here. Being able to uh, use all the different styles, aspect ratios, a number of things you can do. In fact, check this out, I'll click all styles. Yeah, let's have fun, let's go steampunk. For effects, let's do bokeh, we'll go down here. Uh, lighting, let's do dramatic lighting and composition. Uh, let's do a blurry background. So let's try all those. You can see how it adds them down here. So I don't need to know all these secret words. There are some secret words, so tune in later on for that. But let's generate some content based on that. And look at this. This is more along the lines of what I want. Looks so good. Look at that. Look at all these. Really into it. By the way, since I like this one so much, I can say, hey, you know, show more like this. Clicking there, it'll generate three more like that version that I have selected. And these are the ones we get. Ooh, I really like this one. This one works for me. I'm gonna go ahead and download this and check this out. It's gonna add content credentials, basically saying that Firefly was used to generate this image because we wanna have full transparency in how you created this particular image. And how I'm gonna use it is in a composition I already have started in Photoshop. So I'm going to just copy that Firefly image, paste it in here, remove the back, background, position it where it needs to be, and here it is in the composition. I also decided to bring the butterflies into After Effects and animate them. Basically, I'm using Firefly the same way I'd use Adobe Stock. So try it out for yourself, and I'd love to see what you create.